Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the ABA Trading Punches. Here with you live, Glad Rap Channel, Isaac Savage and the champ himself, Shay, Mr. Business Brock. Welcome tonight. Are you enjoying the night so far, Shay? I am, uh, Isaac. I've been treated to some good fights here tonight and looking forward to um, what there is to come. I mean... Yeah, how, how are you finding it? Well, I'm finding this new point system good. First up, we've got out of the red corner, George, the hammer, Sussex, coming in at 34 years old, 5'10". Look at him. He's ready to rock, ready to go. Well, yeah, you, you talked about the, um, just touched on the scoring system. I mean, it's been, definitely been a big talking point here tonight between you and I, and even, even a little bit off air on, you know, all going deeper into what we think about this and wow yeah do, do I feel it's the right or the wrong thing who knows we're going to find out though as the night goes on if this is going to continue what I would say about it regardless of whether it's good or bad I'm not to decide yet but it definitely cuts off um, the amount of fight time we get to actually see tonight Especially in a couple of those fights where we actually want to see the third round regardless of... Yeah, we know the guy's down two rounds, but we still want to see the rest of the fight because it's a good fight. Well, Benji and I touched on it too. If it's your first fight, you want to go to the end regardless. Regardless if the guy beats you up. Absolutely. You want to, you want to experience it, blood, sweat and tears. You don't want it to be taken away from you. Well, you never want to come out of the ring feeling like, Oh, what if I done this? What if I done that? I, I should have done this, I should know, you know, know what I should have could have. You know, you, you want to come out thinking, hey, I've left everything in the ring, but you know, you haven't because you've only done two rounds. But in terms of health and safety, it, it, it could be the winner. And out of the blue corner now, we've got Luke Barnett coming at 20 years old, or 28, sorry, 5'9. Apprentice Plumber, and one of my cousins coming out of the Cook Islands. I'm really, well, I'll try not to back this guy. He's one of the brothers from the Cookies, but how's he going to go? He's from the Cooks. He's fighting a guy out of Peach Boxing. Both these boys are out of Peach, so they know each other well. We've talked about this night, Shay. Fighting a guy from your gym that you've sparred, it's always going to make things a little bit interesting. Yeah, well, it, I, I guess it depends on how you, you know, there's, there's a few ways of looking at that. You either, you know, go a little bit easier on them because they're your mate, or, you know, you go a bit harder on them because you know what to expect and you know you know, potentially their weaknesses and their strengths, so you know how to play the fight. Lots of love there, lots of love for Campbell Sussex. I'm going to do my best not to support the guy in the blue, even though he's one of the cuzzies. And saying that, Shay, we're talking about the point system, aggression, power. Both these guys look so evenly matched. You know, you look at guys tonight, one guy a bit might be wiry, the other guy quite stocky. Yep. Both these guys, looking at them pound for pound. Same both height, same stature, same haircut, same everything. We'll soon find out if it's going to be saving everything once, it, once those gloves touch. Well, parent, our parents rise, I should say. They look like twins, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> We've got triplets. So who's it going to be? Campbell in the red corner, Luke Barnett from the Cook Islands in the blue. I'm not going to agree from the Cook Islands. I'm not going to agree from the Cook Islands. I was just about to say that. I was just about to say that. I was just about to say that. And with this two rounds scoring system you know you're going to want to come out like that as well oh and there we see a massive shot there from Campbell he's certainly landing every single shot very nicely overextend himself there though uh, Shane well yeah and he's picking the shots nicely too he's wow bar from those ones oh my god he, he just proved me wrong sorry I, oh, I was just about to say that that. this is what I love about first time or maybe guys that have had a couple of fights they do not hold anything back Shane they just go for gold 
both of these guys are just slamming each other. All right, he's timing him now as he comes in. Sorry, Campbell Sussex there is timing him, timing our brother from the cookies. So far, I've got Campbell up, even though I don't or shouldn't uh, be too too biased on what I support. But Campbell's certainly bringing it. If it's a battle for the uh, the Baldies, Reed Corner's taking this out, Shay. Well, they don't count out our man just yet. He's coming forward now, and he landed a couple shots at the end there, but took a couple as well. Um, I can't tell who's who. We've got three bald men in the ring. What do you call that around, Shay? I'm, I'm, I'd probably put that in favour of the blue, but uh, we'll see what they say. Did you say blue, did you say? Did you say blue? Sorry, I was being a bit biased there, the red. Even Stevens. Wow. Like I said, don't count your brother out just yet. Well, I said blue first and then I said red, so that kind of even things out. What do you reckon so far, Shay? This is quite a hard one to score because we've got two guys that are just going in hammer and tong. It's really going to depend on, obviously, the next round, round, round three, because it's going to go the distance, right? Yeah, wow, well, yeah. And has to. Unless we see something big happen in the second round. Look at the way Campbell comes forward, though. He's, an, he's aggressive. He just leads with a left hook and a right hook, uppercuts. He's looking a bit tired, but as he would too after throwing that aggressively for a couple of minutes. Let me see Luke Barnett on his toes now. Both guys starting to puff away a little. Starting to feel the um, intensity of this fight. The pace, rather. Campbell starting to drop his guard, looking... Hey, well, just as I say that, he comes through uppercuts, right hooks. He's still very, very aggressive. I definitely feel Campbell is the aggressor of the two in the red. Campbell is certainly taken to Luke Barnett from the Cook Islands in the blue. Oh, oh. what a beautiful combination there. The oh, left hook followed up with the straight Luke. right down the middle. What? What is the ref doing? I don't know what's going on here. Is he counting someone out or what's he up to? His mouth guard, mouth guard, mouth guard. Crowd absolutely on their feet now. They can see, see oh. something coming in this fight. Both of the boys came out to a big reception. Crowd are really getting into it now in the second half of the night. They certainly did. And what a round this is. You know, the first round was even. Both these boys come in again. I don't even know how to call this second round, Shay. Yeah, well, Barnett's this definitely closing out. Mayhem. He's the definitely closing out strong on this last round, and here it comes coming forward. But we see Campbell Sussex still fighting back. The crowd is going crazy. What a the roof round! Is going to what a explode round! In this place. Noise control on their way. It's absolutely crazy here, Shay. What do you think? Wow, I'm inclined to call that one another drawn round, just based on that. I mean. We saw the red corner, you know, I guess take, you know, taking advantage of the first half of the round, but then the blue corner came back very strong at the end there. Some of those shots from Luke Barnett were just absolutely devastating. One almost dropped, Campbell, but we're still going to see what happens. So there you have it, folks. Another draw. These refs are struggling tonight. They're definitely working for their money. Well, these guys are going to have to give it their all in this last round, third and final round. It's even Steven so far. Campbell, Sussex in the red corner. Luke, the cookie. Barney in the blue. Who's it going to be? Who's oh. it going to be? The Kiwi or the cookie? Neither, neither of the boys are wanting to, you know, let the other take it, well, take advantage of the, the real estate and, the, you know, they're holding, they're both holding their ground. 
They're not backing down. Both boys are throwing, standing and banging. It's an absolute crazy fight, Shay. I'm loving this. No guys are stepping down. You see Campbell Sussex in the red. He's got, he's got a good chin on him. I mean, he's taking some good shots. And it doesn't look like it phases him at all. And this is what I love about the third round, Shay. This is why it should go to the third round. This is where we're going to see the intestines, Absolutely. the heart, blood, sweat and tears of who's got integrity and wants to continue forward. Absolutely. This is what we don't see if it goes to round two. This is what I love about round three. What about you, Shay? No, you hit the, you hit the nail bang on the head right there. And you see now that that's exactly what they're starting to pour the heart, the energy, you know, the weight is starting to come out of them now. So, And regardless who wins this fight, they're going to be, feel better for it, for it going three rounds. No what, definitely no what-ifs in this fight. And saying that, this is such a hard fight to call. You know, you've got Luke Barnett in the blue coming forward, taking shots, throwing shots. Campbell landing a few of his own. How's this going to go down? Last 10. Well, that's the thing. Campbell Sussex, he seems to be learn, landing the shots even on the back foot. But he's, that's the thing. He's on the back foot. And Luke Barnett's like, you know, he's on exception to that, wow. you know, being allowed to come forward. And he's letting his punches go coming you know, forward. In the UFC, they give out a $50,000 bonus for fight of the night and if we were doing that tonight that so far is definitely in my eyes being one of the fights of the night they threw everything out there blood sweat and tears left nothing for the road home round three well yeah it, I, I'd have to agree with you on that there's two other fights that come to mind when you think of fight of the night but definitely this one has to edge above all the rest of them and look at them I'm really looking forward to the judge decision. I don't know who's won this fight. I'm going to leave it up to the judges, Shay. I'm I'm calling a draw, eh? You heard it here first. <laughs> Look, and to be honest, even though I was back in the cookie. I've got to agree with that decision. That was very fair. Yep, yep. Blood, sweat, and tears. It was a, a great fight, though, Shay. Like we said, like he said, there has to be one winner. Well, there could be a draw, like I said, but as man, that was a hard foot. That was a hard foot fight. Thank you.